Hi guys, uh, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. As you can see on this BMW here, we have the check engine warning light on. Uh, it's regarding a O2 sensor. Uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the location of the sensor uh, that is actually faulty. I'll give you the fault code as well. Uh, sorry, I'm having to put this kit on my knee here because uh, the sun is in the way. If I put the screen up to the dashboard, the sun will block it out. So, uh, I'm just selecting the BMW. This is the AET diagnostic kit, actually. It's a dealer level diagnostic package. It's small, but it packs a punch. All right, so what it's doing now, it's just connecting with the uh, the module, or the, oh, sorry, the, uh, the BMW uh, ECU system. So I'm gonna manually select our vehicle. It's a three series E46. I'm gonna select the drive. I'm gonna select the DME, which is the engine. It's a 16 pin. We've got it plugged into the 16 pin diagnostic port under the dashboard here. So this sometimes takes 30 seconds or so just to actually connect. And what I'll do is I'll show you the fault code that we've been getting and then I'll also show you underneath the vehicle where the actual O2 sensor is that we need to replace. I've already got it unplugged so it's easier to spot. Right, so I'm just going to go in and read fault memory. Right, so forget about the second one, it's the first one. 2C, 9C. Oxygen sensor heater before CAT1. So that's the fault we're getting for the O2 sensor. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you out under the vehicle. Apologies if it goes a bit wobbly or a bit shaky. That's just me trying to climb under the vehicle because I do have the car on ramps at the minute. Um, so that's this will be where the uh, the O2 sensor for that fault is. Come with me now. Right. So you can see it there. It's more sort of in the middle. That is the O2 sensor. <laughs> 